Android 2.3 system is the ability to use a program called Chrome to Phone. And what that essentially means is if you use the Chrome or Firefox web browser to browse the internet, you're able to go onto your favorite website. You might be about to just leave the house, just get in the car, and you just click a little button, like so. Just clicked it just now. And what it will do, it will send the web page to your phone. And it should pop up. This worked earlier when I tried it. I don't know why it's not now. I got a very poor signal actually. Okay, it's taking its time. Here we go, just found a bit of signal. There we go, pop straight up. So we'll try that again. Click now. Again, it's instant now. We've got some signal. And it, it loads whatever you click. Whatever you like. A nice little feature of this is if you're planning a journey somewhere let's just uh, bring this up can bring up the uh, the Google Maps website here and I'll say I'll plan a journey just quickly for you just to show you what I'm talking about I'm going to plan a journey to here from the random places in the north of England there and get directions for driving and it pulls up my driving directions here now if I click this button up here the chrome to phone button it will send those directions to my phone there we go instantly bring up the driving directions and I want and it will direct me there fantastic feature that love that feature GPS on this phone as you can see is locked already a lot of people had problems with the GPS on the original Galaxy S no problems whatsoever that locked within seconds on this phone and it will um, bring up the navigation app and it will direct you there Again, GPS locked. And it will take you there. Okay. The the camera on this phone, very, very easy to use. Um, the shortcuts down the side are all customizable so if you use certain features more than others if you use scene modes more than focus modes you can swap them out and change them about again it's a, a very nice feature someone's obviously thought a lot about this there we go it's lost it um, 8 megapixel camera 1080p video recording and playback Let's swap to the video camera Got a very bright flash on it. Put the flash on. As you see, and the flash will actually stay on as a flashlight in video recording mode. I'll just move on briefly to some of the pre installed applications. The email app is very, very nice it gives you the ability to delete more than one message at a time which is something that lacked on the original Samsung Galaxy S just makes it a little bit easier to go through your emails again all very smooth nice picture gallery in here very easy to use again got the Android marketplace obviously a social hub here which is where you can access your text messages, your um, emails and your Facebook account. So you can see your feeds and your messages on there. There's a music hub included. 
and you can download new releases it's a bit like the um, iTunes store really look at your music that's on your phone download new music not something I've used actually but it's nice to know it's there. There's also a, a sim similar games hub knocking around somewhere. Here it is. Wait for that to load. There we go. And um, as far as I know, all these games here are free in the social games. There's a lot of them. If you just um, hit it, run it for the first time, it will download to your phone. They're quite big games. They're quite, you know, premium games, as it were. They do take a little while. They just connect into the internet. Again, this is where the the screen really comes into its own when media is brought up onto this phone games or um, videos this is a <coughs> a quest type game this which is just connected to the internet and taking an age showing you the browser another application the calendar application on this phone it's something I use all the time again very easy to use you know, it's all all syncs with your gmail account and your facebook account and you know whatever accounts you've got really right so that was a a review of the samsung galaxy s2 if you've got any questions about the phone don't hesitate to uh, ask them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys and I um, hope you enjoyed this review.